right now um, you smell like this beautiful massage oil it smells so good Actually, you can't see my uh, comment section from over there, so you guys can have the pose for a while, okay? Oh, hi, Pete Pete. Let's see what you've all been saying then. Hello from Canada, my spirit country. Uh, do you know what, Soy Verges? I'm not going to take off my pants. Um, you feel free to take your pants off, but you keep that to yourself. Oh, hey, Jay. How are you doing? Arizona. Wow. So many places that I'd love to go to. Uh, my feet aren't cheesy. I have just rubbed this Rituals oil into them and they smell actually like a spa. They smell beautiful. Um, Solomon, I do not do Skype calls. Nelson. Uh, my feet do smell. I almost exclusively wear trainers, to be honest. I live a very active lifestyle. And they're so comfy. I actually don't wear um, really flats at all. Like, they're not my, my kind of shoe. I find them quite uncomfortable. Got my nails done today. I don't know if you can see it well under this light, they're like an ombre. Ah, well, Pete, when I'm not being the quick queen of England, <laughs> I run my own business, I care for animals. I am 28. How old are you? Yeah, I do love heels. Not that I get a chance to wear them in my work life or day-to-day -day life much, but I used to work in luxury cosmetic retail, so I wore heels all day, every day, even when I wasn't at work. I lived in them. That's very kind of you to say, GTS sweet lover. Uh, Brad Wheeler, I, I, I don't rescue animals as my main job, but um, I quite often do rescue animals. It's because if I see a post on Facebook or something that there's one lost locally, I would always go and help people find it. I did rescue a couple of rabbits as well last week. I'll save this live stream. <laughs> live. I don't know why I said live. It's been a long day. It's very kind of you, Jay. <laughs> I'd rescue you. I wouldn't really know what to do with a human, really. Wrap you in a blanket and uh, put you in a crate, I guess, like, <laughs> like we do with animals. <laughs> Take you somewhere where there's uh, 
a vet or a wildlife sanctuary. Uh, domestic animals, normally. So, like cats, dogs, hamsters. Uh, no, I don't do sessions in real life. Uh, my name is Abby. Um, in real life, I am happily married. And yeah, that's it. I love to share my feet online, but that's about as far as it goes for me. Oh, the foot community. So, I'm actually here kind of by accident. So, my husband uh, has a foot fetish, and he would tell me all the time how beautiful my feet were, and I was always like, whatever, you're just saying that because, you know, they're your feet now. And then he was like, look, I'll prove it to you. So he was like, we'll take some pictures of your feet and we'll put them on the internet and we'll see what people say. So I was like, sure, why not? I don't care if people hate on me and they can't see my face. It's not going to uh, not gonna bother me. And then, um, yeah, so he made the Gym Feet 90 account and like, it snowballed. It just got so huge. And I started just showing my feet originally. There was no face involved. And then slowly but surely, like bits of my head would come in until one day it was just my whole face and everyone's just been really really nice and received it well and it's lovely because I feel like I can be an introvert and just spend my time away from people in the real world but on here I have this whole community of people that make me feel like an absolute goddess so yeah my husband doesn't really well he doesn't have anything to do with this now he knows that I run it and he's very supportive we have a very good trusting relationship, very honest. But uh, yeah, he doesn't um, doesn't do the filming or anything. He does take the occasional outside shot for me if I don't have my tripod. But mostly, yeah, thank you indeed. Uh, mostly, all of the um, all of the work is done by yours truly, which makes me a very busy lady because I have all of this editing, getting myself glammed up, going for petties, all that hard stuff for you guys. And then, uh, yeah, I've got a real life business to run and I'm studying to be a personal trainer. Well, I say I'm studying to be a personal trainer, but I really haven't studied for months. I'm so busy <laughs> all of the time and I'm on an events committee. So I give a lot of my time away, like for volunteering and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, but that's more than you ever wanted to know about me. What about you guys? Tell me how some of you got into it. Feel free to start typing your replies now. Oh, you're very welcome, honeybee. I haven't been to Croatia. Croatia looks beautiful, though. Oh, you're welcome. There's a lot of open-minded people. I'm not the only one, I'm sure. Yes, Brad, I do. I actually, uh, so the GF in my name stands for Jim Feet, like my original account. I used to um, power lift before my back got injured earlier this year. And that's a, I, st I mean, I've, I'm back to lifting, but it's a, it's not extreme weight anymore. Just baby weights and body resistance. Uh, I used to watch anime when I was a teenager. Uh, no, I don't need your money, but thanks for the offer. If you want to buy any of my content, though, you can head on over to my links and spend your money there. Vindom isn't my thing, so... Just good old-fashioned foot modelling. Uh, I think my husband, um, like, he's he's very, very, he's not like most guys, he's very, like, honest and open as well. So he knows that our life is just me and him and that's all it will ever be. So it doesn't really ever affect him. Um, I mean, he knows that I'm not going to cheat on him. He knows that I get a lot of confidence from fulfilling custom orders and doing stuff that I enjoy here. Like, it's... It's just a nice thing to do, you know? So yeah, he's supportive. 
And I mean, after all, he kind of did make this happen, so can't say too much, really. So I don't have a foot fetish myself as such. That's not to say that I don't find feet attractive, because, to, to clarify, I don't find men's feet attractive. I've never been attracted to a man's foot in all the pictures I've seen at all. No offence to you guys. But, um... Yeah, so I, I find female feet like a very attractive body part, but they don't give me the kind of like, I don't get the vibe that like you guys get or he gets. But for me, I get a real kick out of my feet being the focus for someone else's happiness, if that makes sense. So for me, it's more like a power thing. It's more for me like knowing that I can make a man just stop and stare just at these toes or soles. That's what I'm really into. Yeah, nobody does. Actually, do you know, I have seen quite a few male fetish pages, so people must, but it's it's not for me. It's not what I'm into. Oh, feet models too. How did you start showing your feet on Instagram? You've just missed the entire story of that. You'll have to rewatch this live back so you can see it. Uh, yes. Fonza, oh, your name's gone. Um, yeah, I guess it does. It's like a power trip. It makes me feel quite dominant and powerful. I love it. I have started now as well. Like, if I'm on a train or something, I will like dangle my shoe and see if I can just notice anyone that's watching. I haven't noticed anyone watching yet. <laughs> um, I'm from the southwest originally. Yeah, my soles are really soft right now. This oil all feels good on them too. Um, I don't use DM on here, mainly because um, it's, it just seems to be uh, aubergine pictures, shall we say. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I don't really want to see all of that, to be honest, guys. Um, and I also, I find that um, when I was Jim Feet 19, I would reply to DMs. I had a lot of people that if I, like, I would get hundreds and hundreds of messages daily. So I had like 130,000 followers and I would try and reply to everybody but there were a few people that like if I because it's a big it's a big time commitment like replying to that many messages and if I didn't reply to people straight away there were some people that would get angry or call me rude and in the end I found actually when I didn't open the messages and just stuck to email and comments then um yeah I was just in a happier place and when I'm in a happier place make better content for y'all. So that's uh, that's why I don't DM. But I do always, always try and read comments. If I've if I've liked your comment and I've got a little heart next to it, it means that I've read it. I don't just scroll through and like, I, I do read them all. I can't always reply to them because um, for some reason my Instagram keeps saying that my actions are blocked for responding. That's why I try and do lives as well, and then we can chat. My soul's your weakness. Now, I'm gonna go a little bit further back, so I won't read your comments, because my eyesight just isn't that good. But it means you can get a close up of my soul's. So you can enjoy this before I get off. If I get off, I mean, go downstairs and watch Netflix. for joining in. I hope you have a wonderful night. Let's see if I can end this with my toe. Thank you. Sorry everyone. Did I do it? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Bye everyone.